Bye bye, beautiful St. George's mushroom. The first occasion I found one of these mushrooms this year was on the 1st of April. It's the 14th of April today and there are no new bloomings anywhere to be found. They are mostly all dried has-beens and they are withering and falling back into the ground from whence they came. Now there's quite a different variety uh, of this mushroom here and I picked them for their oddities because true to form there are many varying types of this same species and we can come upon all different sorts of curious shaped mushrooms the perfect example is this variety here of which you've seen uh, quite a display over this past couple of weeks just turning dry and yellow and uh, they came and they did what they're supposed to do and they went now the thing is about these mushrooms like many things which have beauty so very very shortly lived now i was just replying to a comment on one of the videos and um, one of the videos was uh, stating how this person um, throughout the winter is always looking for the first signs of spring the budding you know are, are on the trees and bushes and that's what I do uh, each year and this person says that um, there's a cherry tree uh, near where he or she is um, and it's just amazing to see the manifestation of these buds opening and I said oh that reminds me because there's this incredible cherry blossom tree in the graveyard next door and each year it, it just pow just an incredible array of beautiful delicate pink blossoms and so I like to go and sit in that graveyard and meditate and read my book uh, whenever the, the weather is uh, possible uh, to, for me to do that and always spend some time paying homage to such a wonderful creation of nature knowing that within 10 days it's all gone it's all over for a whole new year one week out of 52 and um, when we look at these mushrooms they they come and go within two weeks and so for those of you that really appreciate this sort of stuff you've got to be on the case you've got to have a level of awareness about you uh, and we can't depend on what it says in the books about this mushroom comes at this particular time because the earth doesn't comply to what we write about it in books it does what it wants to do each and every year and so we must constantly keep a vigil and so what I do is I've got certain uh, rat runs and um, whenever I'm going out I'll invariably take a different one and I'm always um, you know in a constant s s state of observation looking for you know the earliest signs of uh, these new fruits and so this year uh, I caught them on the, the earliest opportunity and um, I managed to, to gather up quite a, a bunch and I've frozen many of them down and um, I'm just gonna do that with the last remnants of uh, a few that I can salvage from this bunch but for those of you that are interested uh, in this mushroom or don't have it in your neck of the woods um, so prolifically just to be aware of how they manifest may help you um, discern them in the future and so we can see this one here from this perspective is kind of yellowish kind of orange even
and these lines were doubtless caused by grass uh, because they grow in, in, in deepish lush grass and when they are trying to reach up to the light often the folded over grass uh, holds them down and so we often find these mushrooms bound down with grass and it's not that often that we find uh, a beautiful free cap like this you see only in short grass if the, the council have cut the grass um, just before they sprouted and then they'll have about you know two weeks to do their thing before they'll almost come back round again but most of the mushrooms now I like this. In actual fact, uh, this one uh, was to this. And you, you look at that monstrosity and you think to yourself, what went on there? Now I remember finding these mushrooms 10 days ago and thinking, oh, okay, I'm going to come back for when they're matured, they're going to be some big mushrooms. But in actual fact, they never blossomed because all of the foliage around them quickly uh, enveloped them and was like 18 inches tall so it, it completely blocked out the light and it seems that the growth was stunted and they didn't actually grow anymore they just uh, kind of went more dingy and deformed looking um, so that's those and then we have uh, this one here and I don't know whether this one is uh, a charcoal burner some of you may be able to inform me on that I've not looked in my book but um, if we look closer at this one we can see that the gill is a little bit pink and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a, a spore print from that to see if it is um, a pink spore uh, like the gill indicates I'm pretty sure it may be and if this stipe is brittle then that's in keeping with yeah like the um, uh, variety of mushroom which I think it is a charcoal burner what's that for is that a russula is it russula family so it's got um, uh, oh, what's that called umbo got the umbo on top there and um, kind of a dryish mushroom but, uh, then uh, one of these which is the uh, fairy champignon and a very robust stipe as we are now aware and in actual fact a robust mushroom uh, throughout um, and a good edible and so um, I've got me a bunch of those in the freezer and um, so that's that um, early spring foraging and I'm just waiting with expectancy to see what else now is going to bless this incredible world that we live in what else is going to be giving us opportunity for us to share in its offering in its culinary delight. So field mushrooms now are going to be started to manifest, uh, many different varieties of those. So um, going to be gathering up a bunch of those, not the most exciting of mushroom. Then I'm looking forward to oyster mushrooms. I'm looking forward to um, funnel troopers. Um, I'm still hot in pursuit of um, mm, all the very elusive uh, uh, <laughs> what's that mushroom that crazy looking mushroom with holes in around the outside that's a delicacy he's <sighs> gone you may know what I mean yeah um, I've never found any of those and um, so I'm looking, you know, most everywhere to see if I can come up with some. But, you know, um, certain regions bless us with, um, you know, s certain varieties. And um, so, yeah, that'll be that, guys, for the time being.